Gentleman yields, I now recognize Ms. Green, the gentlelady from Georgia for five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mayorkas, we do not have a country without a secure border. And we cannot have a safe country. We cannot protect our own democracy without protecting our elections. That is a fact. The open border is the number one issue across America in poll after poll. And that is exactly why this committee impeached you. Mr. Secretary, the Oversight Project released a bombshell report last night on your connection to the dark money NGO industrial complex of illegal immigration. I know you saw this from one of my colleagues just earlier. They found flyers throughout the Resource Center Matamoros refugee camp in Mexico telling illegal aliens, reminder to vote for President Biden when you are in the United States, we need another four years of his term to stay open. Eyewitnesses saw the flyers also being handed out to migrants who were using RCM for assistance in coming to the United States. In an audio recording, the founder of RCM, Gabby Zavala, by the way, we maybe should subpoena her to, to the committee, agreed that they need to help as many people as possible before President Trump gets reelected. RCM is an operation that houses functions for the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, which helps migrants enter the United States, and you're familiar with their work. We know that you served as a former board member, excuse me, former board member of this group that funds illegal immigration. And they're very proud of you, Mr. Secretary. They congratulated you on your nomination. You worked as a board member of an NGO that is working in conjunction with other NGOs, which are not only financing the invasion of the country, but also telling illegal aliens to vote in the United States elections. They are telling illegal aliens, non-citizens, to come vote for Joe Biden. That's your boss. This is corruption at the deepest level. As a matter of fact, I would call it treason. It's treason because these people have declared war on our citizens by raping our women, our children, and murdering people. Like Lakin Riley, you're familiar with her, right? Congressman, our heart breaks. Are you familiar with Lakin Riley? Uh, uh, I am uh, familiar with the case. That you should have deported her so that she could be alive today. Her parents would have appreciated that. And also Kayla Hamilton, who was brutally raped and murdered by a cartel member. Her mother came and spoke to us. She didn't deport him either. You let him in the country. You, Mr. Secretary, have allowed over 10 million illegals, probably higher than that, could be closer to 15 million, we don't know, to invade our country. You've allowed the cartels to make billions and billions. As a matter of fact, you're probably the best business partner they could ever have. They make all this money in human trafficking and drug trafficking at our border. You've allowed approximately 300 Americans to be murdered every single day from fentanyl that comes across our border. And now you're aiding NGOs to steal our elections through your budget. I demand proof of citizenships in our elections, and that is something every single member of Congress should care about. We don't need illegal aliens voting in our elections. We're supposed to be here talking about your budget, but we're talking about how money is being used to make sure people come into our country are able to get a social security number in which they can register to vote. And on that note, Mr. Mayorkas, I demand that Chuck Schumer holds your impeachment trial in the Senate, because that's exactly what we should be focused on right now. Mr. Chairman, I yield the remainder of my time. The